What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with a game called Marble World. Now you guys may have seen a bit of this game before, it's really simple, it's a super awesome game with a great concept, and it allows us to build our own custom marble runs. Now I did try recording this video before, I had some technical issues where I kind of lost power to my house, and a bunch of the files got corrupted, and then I had some other issues, but anyway, we're back, and we're finally here, there's been some updates to the game, so I have played a little bit of it, I'm familiar with the controls, and uh, we're gonna start a brand new world, and what I want to do today is something a little interesting i want to build a centrifuge and there are boost pads so you can make a traditional marble run that uses gravity starts we start in this room here and we can basically do whatever we want with this room we can use the objects around the room um, like the scenery we can bounce marbles off them whatever but we can build tracks and we build tracks out of a ton of different pieces really and we can do whatever we want with these tracks just sort of free place them and the marbles will interact with all the pieces and we can make literally whatever we want it's an open marble sandbox i'm really excited about it because i used to love this kind of thing when i was a kid so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna make one section of the centrifuge and then we're gonna kind of like duplicate it and rotate it ever so slightly at each step along the way so my plan is to not actually use track pieces correctly for this. You can kind of manipulate track however you want. So this is a track piece here for a single marble. But we can also use this and have the marbles run on the bottom. Nothing says we can't. And the game kind of doesn't really care. So we could actually have the marbles run on the inside of this surface. And I feel like this is actually going to be great. So if we go like this and then like that. Alright, and then we'll rotate this one around. Perfect. And uh, we'll get another downwards piece here. Yeah, excellent, and I feel like, I feel like that's good enough, right? And then we put another straight piece on top, just like this, and this will be our, our centrifuge. So we'll basically have boost pads all inside this, and we'll whip the marbles around faster and faster and see what happens. So let's actually move this all over uh, just a little bit here, and then we got to line the whole thing with boost pads and make sure this, of course, works um, so I think the way boost pads work, I haven't really used them too much, but I'm pretty sure the marble just has to, like, go through them. I know with these tubes, the marble will get boosted anywhere inside the tube. It doesn't matter. Um, I think same with this one as well. So I just want to try and put a bunch of these down in one direction. And hopefully we can just kind of merge a bunch of them right next to each other. Can I just copy? I'm going to copy and paste it. Perfect, like that. And then we'll use some of these smaller ones. Uh, and we'll just keep kind of moving them along. This is gonna be- this is gonna be really tough to do. I, oh wait, hold on. I gotta adjust the power- boost strength, max. Yeah, we gotta- we can't- there we go, perfect. Okay, copy, paste this, move it over, and now I can actually- I can turn off grid snapping here. This is gonna be a really tedious process, so I'm just gonna kind of, um, I'm just gonna kind of slap it out. Alright, perfect. I think this is gonna work. Um, you know what, we might even be able to do it without the- without the top cap. But I kind of want to, I kind of want to leave that, you know, let's do it like this. Maybe we'll just have a little bit of a hook. And let's just test this real quick. So these should all be set to 50. They're all max speed, which is good. So if we just put a marble spawner, um, you know, we can put it on the grid here, actually. Can I just snap it up there? Perfect. And then we'll just slide this guy over. Yeah, rotate it around. Maybe, maybe flip it upright. That's probably a good thing to do. Nope. Can I, anytime now. We can just lower this. Okay, that works. They they boosted, right? Is that what... It looks like they boosted? Yeah, it looks like they're shooting. You just... Okay, those ones are just kind of... This might... This might work, maybe? I don't really know how fast these are gonna go. We're gonna... We're gonna try it out. Alright, so now the next thing is just to... Take this ring... And then copy it... And then turn off the grid. We have to paste it... Which, which does that, and then we gotta somehow shift it, no, I don't want to snap it, shift it over, right, something, oh, no, I screwed up, we gotta only shift it in one direction, there we go, grab the red arrow, okay, and then we gotta rotate it, like, one tiny, minuscule fraction tick, it, it, it's not, oh, no, wrong way, oh, shoot, okay, one tick, there we go. That's it. That's it. Okay. Oh, shoot. Now I have to somehow copy this one and do the same thing. Oh, no. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I needed to keep that selected. Okay, hold on. Undo. 
There we go. Okay, I still have this selected. Rotate it one minuscule tick. One. There we go. Was that? That looked like two. Oh my god, this is so difficult. Okay, undo. Undo. Okay, perfect. One tick. I like the fact this game has an undo feature. It's it's really kind of convenient. I just need just you just need to rotate one tiny ugh, undo. One tick. I'm hoping that if we do this perfect, we can make it all the way around the board. Copy, paste. All right, one tick. One, no. There we go. All right, let's copy, paste. And let's let's just keep going with this. All right, I'm going to keep doing this. We're just going to um, very painfully lay this out and hope it works. All right, so I think I think I've run into a problem here. Uh, I haven't I haven't gone very far. But I've done a bit of it, and number one, I'm moving incredibly slow for some reason. I, I don't I don't know what the deal is here. I might have to reload because this is incredibly slow. I don't know if I'm destroying the game's frames. Um, it seems fine, but but no idea what's going on there. Number two, uh, looking at the size of this centrifuge, I think I think it's gonna be too big for the room. I think I might have to actually start over from the beginning and do them by like two ticks instead of one. Um, it's a nice smooth shape, but just looking at the size of the room and looking at the, the amount of radius we've covered, I think even if I take this whole, oh god, oh that's a frame rate killer. But yeah, I think even if I take this whole thing and move it over, is that, I don't know if that's, I don't know if we can fit this in the whole room. I think it's, I think it's like flat up just too big. I can honestly try copying and pasting this chunk of track. Uh, let's copy it, paste it. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, there there it goes. Okay. I think this also might just be flat up destroying the game frames. We might have to take this starting piece, I think, and just do a steeper angle. Just two increments, and then I think it'll be better. Um, oh my god. What's up? Can you, can, can you... Anytime now. Might also need to remove some of these top boosters. Although I kind of like them. Maybe remove these bottom ones instead. I mean, once the marbles are going, they should never really touch the bottom, so it shouldn't really matter. That's probably what I'll do, is remove this bottom section. Are we- are you done? Okay. There's no way this is gonna fit. I just wanted to, like, copy this. We're gonna- we're gonna have to start over, guys. Um, like, I'm just looking- look at this, look at this. There's no way. I gotta- I can rotate this into position, so there we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, we don't need grid snapping. We can turn that off. Okay, perfect. Let's just... Oh, no. I made a mistake. Okay, there we go. We got it. No, I made a mistake again. You can't accidentally click one of the blocks, because otherwise you just lose your whole ability to control it. I don't... I don't know if this is actually... I don't think this can fit, can it? It would be nice if I could move... No, there's no way. The next curve is going to smoke that bookshelf or the wall, and this is like... All right, so let's do it again. We're going to start... I'm going to recreate a smaller starting piece. We're going to start right over from scratch because this is obviously way too big. And um, let's just let's just get to a smaller starting piece. All right, I don't know what that was, but I got the move speed back, so that's good. Uh, let's start right away again. We're going to do the same thing we did last time, just make everything a little bit smaller. So we're going to start with a straight section. And we'll bring it up and just rotate it around. This will be like the flat bottom. Because I still want a flat bottom in the middle. Just because it'll be easier to, like, get the marbles into the centrifuge. And the ones that go slow, you know, they'll just kind of slide around the middle and then eventually get launched back up to the wall. Um, but we're going to do this just a little bit different. So we're going to do an upwards piece. Uh, no, wrong way. Downwards piece. That's right. There we go. Like this. And then we're just going to do another one just like that. And that'll be it. Um, the thing is just too... It was just too big before, and I feel like this will be good enough. We line this with boosters, we line these with boosters, and this whole thing should be small enough. And then, of course, we're going to do two degree increments. I don't know what those actually increments are, but we're going to do two ticks on each angle instead of one, because one was obviously just way too big, so let's do it with two. So let's just really quickly get the boosters put up. I think we're going to use this as the new starting section. I, I think it'll be good. It's got a nice flat section, and then it'll accelerate them up. Um, you know what? Actually, let's just put... Just put a couple more boosters up here. I want it to kind of accelerate them like 
a little bit higher up. I honestly don't know if this is even going to work, to be honest. They might just, like, fly through the map, for all I know, with the speed they get. Or they might just not pick up speed. Like, maybe there's a terminal velocity for them or something. Um, that looks pretty good. So let's copy this. And then we're going to paste it. And we're going to do this amazing process again. But this time, instead of doing it once, we're going to go twice. So... Somehow, no, I so I, I really suck at this. Hold on, one tick, two ticks. All right, so we're going to get some overlap here, but that's okay. Then we'll copy and paste, and we'll just repeat this 6,000 times. You know, I really wish there was an easy way to get the rotating tool to, like, go only a few ticks. Like, it, I have all the grids off, but there's still, like, a minimum rotation angle, and getting it to just do that and not overdo it is sometimes very, very tough. I think I think that was it. Perfect. The one thing I noticed too, there's this little button here, world orientation. That's the that's the key. If you have it set to I have it set to local orientation, which allows me to copy each piece and then slide it out at the angle it's at. Um, but if you have it at world orientation, then everything's a little bit different, obviously. Um, oh my god, I hate this. This is so tough to do. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Seven down, only like 600 to go. All right, I built a big chunk of it. I'm gonna try and move this up over to, to here. So it's kind of like centralized, perfect. We're gonna copy this whole thing and we're gonna paste it. And we're gonna try and do like a big chunk. I know it's kind of risky because it won't necessarily line up, but I'm hoping this will just save a ton of time because this is an extremely long process. All right, it was a painstaking process, but I think I have a quarter of a centrifuge. I'm not I'm not sure if this is a quarter. It actually might be like one track piece short of a quarter. It looks it honestly looks like it's a track short. Hold on. Let's just let's just copy one more piece so that we're not one track short of a quarter. See, this is this is the problem though. Look at it. No, switch switch. I don't want you I don't want you to copy from that center point. I want you to copy from it's fine. This will work. Good enough, right? Is that... That looks good. Alright, and then we're just gonna copy this whole thing and try and duplicate it four times. Or three times, I guess. And, uh, we're gonna try and make it into one big... This is extremely difficult to work with because it's, like, super, super laggy. I feel like we're on the limit of the number of boosters this game wants. But, uh, at least copying it is super satisfying. Once it... There we go. Look at it go. It just makes all those shapes. That looks really clean. Okay, perfect. This actually looks awesome. Sick. And then we're going to copy this whole thing, which is once again going to kill the frame rate. But then we should just be able to flip this, duplicate it, put a spawner that drops marbles in, and we're good to go. Marble centrifuge. Oh my god, the game does not like selecting all the parts at once. Alright, Eddie, Eddie... Yeah, no, I know you're below target frame rate. We missed it. We didn't collect all of them. We need to go. Hold on. Just big, big... Gr Come on, game. We just need to do this once more, game, and then you never have to do it again, I promise. Is it gonna do something? This looks fantastic. I think this is going to work. As far as indoor bedroom centrifuges go, I think we're we're right up there in terms of overall um, overall size and capability. I, I kind of want to move it. I think this is going to kill the game, though, to move it. Uh, is it going to... It's not even going to let me do it, is it? Oh, it worked. I thought my game was still frozen, but no, I've got, I've got control now. So as long as I don't actually click anything, awesome. Let's just move this... Right in the middle of the room, pretty much. And then lower it down a little bit more. I want to see the marbles, like, fly out. We felt we were a little close to the ceiling. All right, perfect. Something like that. Let's just make sure we're not interfering with everything. No, we're above everything else. All right, excellent. So let's click off. Let's real quick save this world, just so we don't lose this. And now all we need to do is plop a marble spawner in here. So let's just grab one of these. Rotate this guy. Kind of line it up. With the centrifuge and obviously we're going to uh we're going to bring it out of the centrifuge and rotate it down on a slight angle 
Maybe move it back a little bit outside of the centrifuge. That would actually probably be the best. And then put some straight track just leading off of this. All right, so this should be it. Marble centrifuge test one. This is going to be the, like, honestly, the only test. I'm not making changes to this. If this doesn't work, I'm going to be so disappointed. Can I not? Oh, hold on. I got to press play. There we go. All right, if this doesn't work, I am going to be so disappointed. Let's just, let's just put one marble in. Let's just build the anticipation. Regular speed. Oh, it's going. Where'd it go? I lost sight of it. Oh, there. It's dead. Okay, well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. That might not be... Might not be good to do one marble. Let's do, like, a bunch. Oh, my God. I don't... I don't think any of them are actually excel... Are any of them going around and accelerating? I think we might have too many boosters. I might actually have to, like, reduce the number of boosters. Or reduce the overall boost power, maybe? I want to get, like, that nice, you know, centripetal force going on. But it seems like they honestly hit it and then just go flying off at a million miles an hour. Alright, let's just, let's just real quick, let's clear all the marbles. And let's try selecting everything, kill the frame rate, and reduce the boost power. I think I've got them all selected. And I hope I can just do this. I'm gonna go down to 10. I think the default is 20. We were at 50. I'm gonna go down to 10. If this doesn't work, we can crank it up. I also added an extra little piece here on the back. So when we spawn marbles... Um, hopefully if we overspawn them, we don't get too much of the dropping off. So let's just deselect everything. Hopefully that worked. Yeah, I'm so scared about doing this because I'm literally, like, playing around with, with so many blocks. I don't want to actually, oh god. Oh, this is what I thought was going to happen. Where are we? Oh no. What, what just, what just happened? Where, are, are we dead? All right. Let's try this again. Edit boosters down to 10. All right, now let's click off. And now not touch anything. Please work. Please don't, please don't teleport me into the abyss. Please just work. Please game. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness, okay. Okay, we're good. They all have a power of 10. Let's lower the ramp. 180, let's try it out. What is this going to do? That's better. That's actually so much better. They're actually kind of going around. They still, like, are crazy powerful. I'm honestly surprised at how powerful they are. Let's just, uh, let's put that straight piece back. Something like that, just so we can kind of spam spawn a little bit. And, uh, let's put in more. There we go. You can see they just kind of, like, they push up against the back. It's not a big deal. Perfect. All right. This is actually kind of working. Like, we're getting, we're getting some rotation. I feel like if we have enough marbles, they'll, like, keep forcing each other in the direction. It's crazy how powerful these boosters are. I honestly thought we'd only need, like, you know, we need them all at 50 to get anything. This is insane. This looks sick. All right, keep going, keep going. Yeah, once you have enough marbles, they, like, hit off each other, and I think they slow each other down, which keeps them in, like, the centrifuge. With only a few, they just kind of go flying out. This is actually so cool. Look at that. Nice clean rotation. We can go up to 25,000 marbles too. This is awesome. This is so cool. This is exactly what I was hoping was going to happen. That you'd get like the nice smooth rotation and that look of like all the marbles going around. I mean, there's definitely a ton that fly out, but this is so cool. Oh my, I'm, I'm over spawning it. I got to slow down. I got to be a little more... This is great. I love it. They drop in on the inside. They get launched out into the turn. Looks sick. It's actually a centrifuge made of marbles. This is great. I was kind of hoping they could go faster, to be honest. But, like, I, I guess the boosters are so powerful, it was just yeeting them out. And this actually kind of gives them that nice... That nice... Okay, we're just, like, completely destroying the game's frame rate. But you get that nice, like, curve, that rotation. That looks so cool. Let's clear this up. Let's try just a, a few really quickly. See if we can get a nice good rotation at maybe a higher frame rate. That looks pretty good. That's pretty awesome. I'm a big fan of this. This is so so cool. I mean, it's a completely pointless marble run. Don't get me wrong. There's no reason for it. You can just let it run on, on see how long it takes, I guess, for all the marbles to fall out. But, you know, I definitely want to build some other marble runs. A few of the other ones that I was working on just for fun were like actual marble runs that had a start and a finish and all that. But uh, this is just a cool project I thought of once they added the boost pads. I really wanted to do it. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you want to see more of this game, 
definitely let me know in the comments down below. I really like it. I think it's a really cool Marvel sandbox. And obviously, you know, you wouldn't be able to build stuff like this, um, you know, in real life that easily. I mean, if you could make a Marble Boost pad, I guess maybe with like an air compressor and some hoses, maybe blast the marbles around in the corner. But yeah, this is, this is so cool. This is really, really awesome. I'm really glad with that this actually works and you get a proper rotation. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure, of course, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, let me know other cool Marble Run ideas that you'd like to see. I have a few more things I'd like to try and do. Um, obviously, there's some performance issues still, but the dev is super active, seems to update a lot, and takes a lot of suggestions from the community and seems to implement them into the game right away. So that's super, super nice to see, and it's super cool for a game like this to be able to just build these crazy marble runs. We're not even using the track pieces as they were intended, and yet it still works for this kind of game, which I'm just super excited about. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think, and we'll see y'all next time. I could honestly just watch this for hours. I'm just going to keep watching this.